The next morning I was once again up and heading out well before sunrise. The wind had abated and I was hopeful that the clouds would offer a great sunrise as I passed the Grand Tetons. But as the sky awoke, my hopes were initially dashed by a thick gray layer of clouds that blunted any sky color. They would, however, quickly clear to provide a magnificent view of the mountains. Good morning everyone and welcome to day six of Solar Expedition and I am headed to Jackson, Wyoming. These are the Grand Tetons that you see off to the side here. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I spotted this dirt road while driving through the park. Uh, hey, I don't know where this goes. Definitely worth heading out on this uh, little gravel road here. I would gas up in Jackson, then head across the border into Idaho. There, I planned to visit Craters of the Moon National Monument, which was just south of the Path of Totality. Nice to go to the Snake River here. turned off at Hell's Half Acre Wilderness Study Area. It was also described as access to the uh, Lava Rock Hiking Trail. There's a loop drive of seven or eight miles, and I'm taking that. I'm going to assume it's paved all the way, but isn't this terrain just spectacular? Wow. So I'll have to hike up there, see what the view is. The lava fields of Hell's Half Acre and Craters of the Moon National Monument provided a fascinating glimpse into Idaho's volcanic past. I had hoped to camp within the lava field at Craters of the Moon, but it was full. So I found another place to spend the night nearby and was off early the next morning, headed through Oregon to Hat Point, high above the deepest river gorge in North America.
Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I'm just pulling onto Interstate 84. And uh, I just stopped and filled up with gas. I'm preparing to cross the border from Idaho into Oregon. If you're not aware, in Oregon, you don't pump your own gas at most gas stations. Why am I carrying 20 gallons extra of fuel? There's a good chance gas stations will run out of gas, food supplies will be short, uh, grocery stores, things like that, shelves will have some empty spots. Today is Wednesday and we're supposed to meet up tomorrow and then we're going to spend a few days there. We just want to make sure we have that locked down. We're in about 45 miles from filling up the gas cans. Just want to check, make sure everything's secure up there, there's no leaks. Well, cherry cans look good. Looking good up on top here also. I don't see or smell any fuel. Nice to be out here on Tulane Highway again. Travel's a little bit slower paced. You have time to appreciate the pretty country that you're traveling through. Driving to the town of Imnaha. From there, I'm going to drive Hat Point Road up to uh, a viewpoint above Hell's Canyon. You can see the route is marked on my map. I did that myself. Just the road is on the map, so I thought it would be good to annotate. Yeah, the road's pretty rough, so I decided to go ahead and air down. Look at those captive valve covers. That's pretty nifty, huh? Well, I aired down, and that is a lot lot better. It's still a pretty rough road, but it moves out a lot of those bumps. Well, you do get up here pretty high pretty quickly. I'm sure you all remember that closer the lines of elevation, the steeper the terrain. Um, I'm told that uh, fires over in British Columbia have uh, Cause smoke to drift down here into Washington and Oregon. I'm uh, roughly at the halfway mark, and just look at this view from here. Isn't this just spectacular? Wow. Yeah, that's quite a view from up here. Especially when you look around this side over here. Wow, that's quite a deep canyon. We're not to the deep one yet. I've just turned towards Hat Point. Quite a view from up here, isn't it? And across the way, those mountains rising above Hell's Canyon are the Seven Devils. Great view from up here. Let's look at these steep cliffs. And there's the uh, fire tower. They do allow you to climb up to the top, but it's two visitors at a time. 
in a bit of a line and I really need to get get going. And I'm headed down now. 16% grade, 7 miles. I had a great drive departing Wyoming and through Idaho and into Oregon. Hat Point offered a wonderfully lofty vista high above the Snake River where it separates Idaho and Oregon. Though basically a dirt road, its steep grades made me glad that I had a suitable transfer case. Since this was my last night before joining the other members of our Solar Eclipse watch party, I splurged and headed for a hotel night in La Grande.